you also had, I know they made a wrestling figure for you. And then I think you had one in ECW as well. Yeah. Did you ever see royalties or get a check for these? Yeah. For, for a couple of years I did. I got the royalties from WWE, not, not from ECW. I got pretty good checks there in the beginning. I even got a, a, a hell of a payoff for a, a video game. Yeah, the ECW's. SmackDown versus Raw? Yeah. That, that video game, I'm in the first one, or I'm in that one. And I got, I got a hell of a payoff for that. It never put me in another video game after that, though. They, they could, they had that so you could build me, and then uh, they didn't, they wouldn't have to pay me. Oh, so they put the parts for you, so they yeah, you can like put my hair length, my skin tone, and then uh, my pants, and you can build Sabu, and then they don't then that they don't have to pay me for it. So that's the out to where they yeah they don't have to cut yeah. your check. What were the if you don't mind me asking, what were the royalties? Were they like a quarterly payouts or something that you were getting? Yeah, every uh, three or every three months. I think it was four times a year. Yeah, they were good. So for like, uh, you, you get your royalty check and your regular check in the same check. So you don't. It's kind of confusing because you you get a big old check and you you kind of want to know how much you made for wrestling, how much you made for this and that, and, and it shows you. But you made very little for wrestling. Most of it was all merchandise. Like the most the, the money I the money that showed up on my check, it was mostly from merchandise. That ended up doing pretty well for you then, at least. Yeah, it did. Just think if I was like the Undertaker or something. Imagine his royalties. Oh, God, yeah, all the games and merch. And oh, the... fuck. I was only on one video game, and they, they, they paid me almost $100,000 for it. And I was, I was hoping I was going to be on another one, but I never was. You think, too, that they could put you as a Legends character? You know? Like I said, that they, they can do that when uh, you, can, you could build me. You know, you can build your wrestler. That WrestleMania that you did, the 23 one, did that mean a lot being in Detroit? No, because it was an eight-man tag. I, I wanted to meet me versus Van Damme or me and Van Damme versus somebody. Uh, that's what I wanted, that, not that eight-man tag. It, it turned out all right, but it was just a, a choreographed, real quick match with, with no feeling to it. Did you feel like that was just another spot on the card? They weren't? It was just another spot on the card. Well, what we did, what we, there was no feeling in it. Uh, there was no, I'm going to do good. You just got to so walk through this like everybody else is and just do it. It's, a, it's just another job. It's not It's not the biggest match of the year. I thought it would be the biggest match of the year, the biggest match of my life. It wasn't. It, it, it felt like bullshit. It was too much just work. It was the only work. Where you had to time almost everything. You know, you had to time everything. How many seconds am I going to point up or whatever? You know, something ridiculous like that. They had us go over the match three days before the match. <laughs> three days. I, I have no idea what I'm going to do three, th three days from now. In three days from now, I'll get back to you. <laughs> and you want to feel out the crowd, too. Yeah, you feel it as you go. And uh, you got to get stoned a little bit. And then you first thinking about wrestling. You know, I don't think about wrestling three days before wrestling. Not, not, I'm thinking about travel or how, how I'm going to get there, not what, what spots I'm going to do. Do you remember if they cut time or anything for this match? Uh, no, we, we did what we, everybody did their the robotic part and it fit into what they wanted. They, they were happy with it. And when I watched it from the outside, it, it looked better than I thought. But I was, when I when I was doing it, I I did such a small part that it didn't feel like much. But but when I watched it, it the the part I did 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 look bigger, but it was still small. It seems like it was kind of further along in the ECW, WWE's version of ECW, where they were starting to get their own guys and push their own guys. Did you start to see that, where the originals were starting to get less and less featured, and now all of a sudden this new cast? That's what I was, I was tr trying to uh, express earlier, that uh, they started out putting me over and, and doing things the way we would do in ECW. Then it got to, to the point was, how do we get Elijah Burke over? have him pin Sabu. Yeah, that'll help him get over because Sabu's the top guy and if he pins the top guy, that'll give the rub to him. Instead, they booed because they didn't like to finish and, and they knew that I let him, you know, that I laid down for him. The, 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 every night when I lost, the people would still cheer me but they, each time I got a little bit less and less and then finally when uh, this other guy, he, he beat me and and it looked like bullshit finish. They, they, they booed. And they didn't boo because of, uh, I lost. They booed because it was a, sh it's a terrible call. They, they knew, knew it, it wasn't my call. And that you didn't, you probably didn't want to do it. No. You know, just, I was just doing what I was told.